Hey everyone! After weeks of designing, much anticipation, and lots of beautiful art from fellow artists, it is time not only to announce the winners of my 50k design competition, but to share my own design as well. We totaled this competition with about 550 entries, which is slightly under the Blue Jay competition I last held, but there was a big diversity in designs this time, which was really cool. So I'll let this sketch of my OC play in the background while we get into the good stuff. The honorable mentions. I'm just working my way towards those three winners. So for the 10th honorable mention, I have Joy by Sunset Firefly 09. This is a multimedia design, and it kind of took me by surprise when I first saw it, because it's really interesting. I know I had to include it here because I don't think I've ever really had anything like it in my contests before, and it's just so very interesting. I love the layers and the wings, it looks really feathery and neat, and there's such a neat collision of color there too. Overall, a super fun entry, and I just love it. My ninth honorable mention is Keanu the Sea Wing by Fluffy Phantom Zero. This design definitely deviates from the more popular red, blue, yellow color palette, but I love how it all works so well together. The warm and cool tones just match up really nicely, and the markings are really fun too. I just think this design ties up for a nice balmy beach tropical kind of feel. The eighth honorable mention is Macaw, a sea wing rain wing pirate by Seaver Skies. This design is just chef's kiss, moi. She's got a really good color palette, and although the design is simple, all the elements work really, really well toward the end goal. I love the little accessories like the ankle bandana and the jewelry, and the stripes on the underbelly and the tail give it a really piratey feel. I saw a couple of pirate entries this time around, but this one is by far my favorite. And for my seventh honorable mention, I have It's What Makes You Unique by Langusar. This design is just so pretty, and another kind of deviant color palette. I did also say that Tropical was part of the theme, and it's been nice to see the colors used by people who took Tropical to a more beachy and less rainforest place. This design is very sleek, and I love the swirls of the coloring. It looks like little waves picking at clouds of sand. We'll take a second to talk about my design now. Gotta take a break before the overload of gorgeous designs knocks us out. I've really been into colorful designs lately, and I really wanted to do another contest, so I picked a fun animal to use and got to work. This is Parrot. He's a sea wing sand wing mix. When I did the design, I gotta say, I used a parrot for the color inspiration, but I was definitely leaning towards a more beach boy kind of personality. So that's why it was cool to see the few people who also went in more of a seaside direction, because this guy is kind of a surfer dude. Alright, my sixth mention is Kyla by Hoppy Coco. This design definitely took some liberties with the Wings of Fire tribe designs, but I really love how she turned out. The colors are awesome, but what really stands out for me are the markings. The wings alone are gorgeous, and the layers of markings and stripes and speckles and stars along her body are just so cool. For my fifth honorable mention, I have an unnamed design by Belly Girl 7. This is a very simple but cute design. The little feather accessories are really fun, but I think my favorite part is the red markings. They look like shards of glass or flower petals maybe spreading out, and I just think it looks really nice. Also the eye is super cute. My fourth place honorable mention is Mac by Vistazy. This is a traditional piece, but it looks so whimsical and beautiful. It's a rainwing icewing hybrid, and I just love the colors the artist chose. Especially considering with traditional art, you don't always get to like have access to a wide range of colors, so it's extra impressive that everything looks so good together. This is another one of those designs that, as soon as I saw it, I knew it would be at the top, because I just love it so much. Anyways, back to Parrot. I wanted to do something really colorful and fun, but with a muted enough color palette that it was still kind of laid back. Parrot has a wide range of colors, for sure, but for the most part it's a much more calm version of a parrot's coloring. Just color picking from that bird would be nuts, at least for my own style of art. The colors are just too vibrant for me to mix very well. So I used a sandy yellow and a nice teal, and some other colors for flavor. He's a hybrid, like I said, and he's sandwing leaning. He does have webbed talons, but though some of his markings resemble the shapes glowing scales would have taken, he doesn't actually have any luminescent scales or gills. Now for my third honorable mention, this is Suari by Coyote of Dragons 1. This is another really simple, elegant design. I love the soft white patches, and the little black speckles are a good touch. It's a very soft, chill dragon, and I just love it. The throat pouch is a nice accessory, 
and I think there's a little heart on her chest too. It's a really, really precious design, and ugh, it's just so nice. For the second honorable mention, we have Aviary by Moonflower Kitsune. This design definitely goes back to that straight parrot idea, but they do a really, really good job with it. Remember how I said that I probably couldn't have pulled those colors together? Yeah, red, blue, and yellow were kind of hard to tie together with this kind of vibrance, but it looks awesome with the white and gray to balance it out. This design is just very sharp, and I love it. Also, the wings are awesome. They have feathery bits, but then the actual coloring also mimics the feathers too, so it's very nice overall. And then, for the first honorable mention, this design was nearly at the top, but it was very close. I have another unnamed design by Firefly138. They have a really cool backstory in the description of the drawing, so feel free to check that out too. But I just love the feathery orange wings and how the orange really pops against that blue. Between the swirls and the little white speckles, it reminds me a lot of, like, a galaxy, and it's a great dragon. Parrot's a strong swimmer, what with his broad sandwing build, though not as strong as a full seawing. He doesn't care for the dry, arid heat of the desert, and the seawing settlements in the true ocean, so Parrot mostly spends his time hopping between island villages. He's friends with just about everybody, he's laid back, a good time to hang out with, and generally very easygoing. I think he just spends most of his time chilling on the beach, whether that's swimming in the surf, sunbathing, or poking through the crabs and fish to be found on the coast. And now, the part everybody's been waiting for, I'll be announcing the winners. My three winners will each be receiving a drawing of their character to be posted on my DeviantArt sometime soon. Anyways, without further ado, in third place to receive a headshot drawing, we have Lori by Io the Silkwing. This design... It is just so precious. I love the frill and the feathery ankles. She's just adorable, and the color palette is just an explosion of shades. She's so wild and colorful, but she also just looks like a total sweetheart. This art is a good kind of controlled chaos, with a lot going on that all wraps up really nicely. Congrats, and thank you for an awesome design. In second place, to receive a half-body drawing, is Rio by Astroboy1114. Compared to the last design, this one is very minimalistic, but I actually love the simplicity of it. And the artist did an amazing job staying true to the parrot design. Like, if I was just to glance at this design offhand, I would totally think parrot. And I love the dark blue markings on the legs. They're like tall boots or something, and they're very cute. They just look like a cute, fun dragon, and this design really comes together very nicely. Thank you so much for entering. And finally, taking first place, we have Scrimbly with Parrot. Now, this design is very simple, but I feel like it's a perfect representation of both of the themes, Tropical and Parrot, and I think it's a super cute design. I judge half off the theme and half off what I like, and this dragon just speaks to me. The colors work so nice, the little feathery bits to the bottom of the wing is awesome, and the stripes and frill and other markings just work really well to make this an awesome design. I'll be posting a full body drawing of this parrot later on, and I'm really excited to draw it. This is a cute dragon! Congrats on first place, and thank you so much for entering the contest. Thank you so much to everyone who entered the contest. All your designs were so fun to see, and I had a blast, as always. Congrats to my winners and honorable mentions, y'all did a great job. So before I go, I do have a bit of news. I will be taking a break over the month of January. 2023 has wrapped up to be a huge year for me. I took 61 commissions this year, was able to do Art Fight, hosted two Your Character Here sales, hit 50k and did a design contest, and of course I made my playing cards. It's been pretty bull rush busy over on my end since about, oh, September, and while I've really enjoyed all these projects, I think it's definitely time for a break. Also outside of my channel and all that, come January I will be going back to school, I graduated college some time ago with an associate's degree and was pretty ready to call it quits. Over 2023, though, I decided to go back because I really enjoyed my classes and I was able to find a school where I wouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So in January, I go back to college to continue an English degree with a focus on creative writing. I'm really, really excited for this, but it's going to take an adjustment period to get used to going back as well as keeping up with my job. So, considering the big rush that the last 4th of 2023 ended up being, I'll be taking a break from YouTube to give myself some time to adjust and to hopefully enjoy some much needed downtime. So once again, thank you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you in 2024. Have a blessed week.